Hello everybody and welcome to the GMS Magazine YouTube channel. I am Paco Garcia and today I'm going to bring you a review of a role-playing game that's not been published yet. How can you do that, Paco? You say, well, let me tell you, because it's been published in Spanish. It's called Little Monster Detectives. It's currently in Kickstarter. And I can tell you that this could easily be the best role-playing games to get children into the hobby. And I am about to tell you. Your game? Little Monster Detectives was written and published in 2014. This game is a hardback in the Spanish publication Full Color, beautifully illustrated in the inside and the outside. And it's a game that's designed specifically, specifically to bring children into the hobby whilst helping them get over their fears. This game was written by a couple of psychologists who decided to put the power of role-playing gaming into really helping kids get over their fears. And I'm talking very young children. You can play this game with a child as young as four years old and it works. It really works very, very well. The game has just under a hundred pages, give or take, and everything has been designed to increase cooperation, the ideas, the exploration, and overcoming these fears. How? Well, this game has a particularly specific theme on board. There are monsters out there. There are little monsters out there, like the Boogeyman, that would be a big monster, or the monster that hides in the closet, or the monster, you know, around the corner, or the fluff monster. A monster that children, small children, can be scared of. And what this game is going to do is to place the children in the roles of detectives that are going to be investigating where are these monsters. They're going to go on hunts and searches all over the place to find them. And once they find them, they're going to put those monsters that come in this absolutely beautiful sheet of illustrations. I'll need to put it on this other camera. Beautiful things of illustrations where you can get the footprint of the monster and then a little portrait of the monster. Now these tokens are going to go into a little glass jar because that's where they're going to be trapped. But that's not the end of it. What's going to happen next is that that jar is going to go to the agency. And in the agency, the monsters are going to be rehabilitated. They're going to become good monsters that are going to help children. And they are going to be their friends. So when they come back, children no longer need to feel scared of those monsters. I know that this sounds really cutesy and all that stuff, but, you know, I can't remember what it was like because I was very little. But if you were three-year-old scared of something, this could actually help. The game comes with all sorts of advice on to whether to play the game around the table, but it also encourages you to, you know, do it around the garden and play around the house, figure out things and go on a real physical, real life adventure to find these monsters, which is great. Something else the game encourages is cooperation. So it comes with a set of budgets that you can give stickers to kids. You know, so kids who have had ideas, they will get a idea sticker. Or if somebody's been really brave, then they will have a bravery st sticker. And yes, there's a little bit of mechanics to it. Simple as rolling three D6s and you keep the one in the middle. That's it. For all the kids, they may want to complicate it a little bit, but since that's not the point of the game, well, why bother? Just enjoy it the way it is. It's as simple as that. The game, as I said, is currently in Kickstarter and I thoroughly recommend you taking a look at it because it is very, very good. 
We have seen it in Spain at work in plenty of schools where teachers have decided to use it in order to, uh, you know, maybe even replace the monsters with something else that children can learn at school. I've seen this in games conventions where kids can sit around the table and an adult or a young lad, you know, can sit with them and, and, and play. I've seen this being run by a 13 year old girl. So this is that simple. It is that good. So please do take a look at the Kickstarter campaign. There's going to be a link down here in the comments and uh, hopefully you will feel enticed to back it because yeah, I reckon this is probably the best game to bring young children into role playing games whilst helping them so, you know, get over some of their fears. Thank you very much indeed for being there. If you have any kind of experience with children, please do let me know because I love to hear how you have introduced young players into their hobby. Remember once again, please to subscribe and click the bell button so you can get notifications and take care. You game. Hello everybody and welcome to a GMS Magazine video YouTube <laughs> channel. <laughs> I'm Rory.